Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we are going to design Apple's dynamic island animation in Figma. By now, you must have seen it all over the place. So with the launch of iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max, they have now changed the notch shape into a pill shape cutout and they're calling it the dynamic island. And with that, they have now changed the animation for the notification that comes up from top. So we're going to design the same thing in Figma. So let's see how can we do it. So we're in Figma right now and we're going to animate a music widget and this is how a music widget looks like. It has a bunch of elements. You have some image, some text, a slider, a bunch of UI controls and then this soundbar animation that is happening here. These different soundbars animate. And what happens is when you click on it, it basically collapses into this view where this uh, soundbar animation keeps and then the image uh, becomes smaller and becomes circular. So this is how we are going to animate it. For this particular animation, you will need one asset which is basically this iphone 14 pro shell and you can get it from the community file so just go to figma community and get this iphone 14 pro shell and the main thing is this notch so just make sure of that you get this phone from there the phone shell and now let's start building this piece by piece so first thing that we're going to build is this um, animating soundbar so let's get started so to build the soundbar, first of all, let's understand what is the size that we need to build it for. So if you see here, um, I'm just going to draw a rectangle so that we understand what's the size is. So something like this, I think 100 by 100 is a perfect size for this sort of soundbars to come in. So we have to create a frame which contains these soundbars in this 100 by 100 sort of size. Okay, so just get a rough size, nothing to be very fancy about it. So let's start building the soundbars. So first I have to create a rectangle. And for this rectangle, I'm just going to add some um, gradient to it. Okay, so this looks perfectly fine to me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do rounded corners here, fully round it off. And then here you have to do the sizing. So sizing should be something around 80 because our entire frame is uh, 100. Okay, so something like 80 and the width should be around 8. Okay, so this is how it will look like. So now you have one of the soundbars. What you have to do is now duplicate it again, command D to duplicate it and make sure the space between them is something around it and you have to duplicate it six times because there are six soundbars. So three, four, five, six. Okay. Now just select all of them and rename it. So I'm just going to come here and select rename and you'll give a batch rename option. So I just call it bar and then add a number. So you'll just uniquely add these names to it. Okay. And rename. So now it has created all these unique names. Uh, the reason we need these unique, na unique name in layering because when we do interactive variant, when we l combine them through interactive variant uh, and smart animate, the names, if they are unique, then the animation will be proper. Otherwise you will see jittering, okay? So this is how we have done it. Now what we have to do is um, I'll just create a frame. So I'll just hit A on my keyboard and I'll draw a square frame and I'll just add square dimensions. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all of these rectangles that we have created and just add it in our frame. Okay. Nice. And what we have to do now is any random size that you want. So I'm just going to make some random sizes. And the next thing that you have to do is just select all of them and make sure they are center aligned to the frame. So just center align them. Okay. So this is how it looks like. And I'll just let me just quickly create a bunch of them. And what I'll do is I'll just duplicate these frames again and again and randomly change the height of these uh, bars in each of the frame. So let me just quickly do that. Okay, so now I have created all these different uh, five frames and I've added these different soundbar in different shapes and sizes to it. I just uh, resized all of these different soundbars in all of these frames. Now you can create more frames. The more frames you create, the smoother the animation will be. But for our purpose, I'm just creating these five frames so that you get the idea. But if you want to make it like really uh, realistic and smooth, the animation, then what you have to do is just um, duplicate these frames bunch of time and then change the shape gradually okay so you can create like 10 or 11 uh, frames like this and then combine them so that will make the animation really smooth uh, so now we have all this five frames ready what we have to do is just select all of these frames together 
and what you have to do is first of all we don't need a fill behind it but for now i'm just keeping it here we'll remove it in the end okay and what i have to do is just select all of them go here on the top and click on create component set so let me just do that once i do create component set it creates a component and we can rename this to sound bar okay so now we have created a component with five frames in it now what you have to do is you just have to do prototyping so hit the prototyping tab here come here and then select first one to the second one and instead of on click you want it to happen automatically so select after delay now make sure that you're always always selecting one variant to other otherwise you won't get this option after delay so after delay because we want it automatically and we don't want any lag into it so we just give one millisecond that's the minimum that you can give from one to two perfect instead of instant we want to give smart animate and instead of ease out we can give linear and it's totally up to if you want a little bit bouncy and all you can just play with these settings so i'm just select uh, linear and i'm going to give 300 millisecond as the time we want it to be a little faster let's do that for all the forward frames Now I've linked all the forward frames with the same animation. Now what we have to do is we have to create this looping animation. So we want that it automatically starts again when it ends. So what we have to do is just select the last frame and connect the last frame to the first frame. And instead of on click, give after delay again, one millisecond. And instead of smart animate, give instant. So what will happen is this frame, after coming to this frame, it will automatically instantly move to this frame. So once it moves inst instantly to this frame, again, the animation will start from here, here, here. So you'll create a looping animation. Now let's build the second bit. So first bit is done. Now let's build this uh, slider. So first of all, what we have to do is just hit A on our keyboard and draw a frame. And the frame, as we said, we need something around 740. We can tweak it later. That's perfectly fine. Round the corners. Make sure that you're always creating a frame and just reduce this size to something around um, 24 maybe that looks good okay and in this frame what we have to do is we have to add a rectangle so just create a rectangle like this and this will keep on moving okay so create a rectangle and let's see what's the color that they have given so they have given a light color there and then this one so let's do that so this should be proper white okay and this should be a little grayish, okay? So I'm just gonna select a gray sort of color, something like this. Just for this purpose, we can tweak it later as well, okay? And we have one frame ready. Now just duplicate this frame here and select the white portion and just fill it all the way up. Just resize it to the end and that's how it'll look like, perfect. And just make this one a little smaller so that it just starts with some starting point. Okay. Now what we have to do is as we did for the other things, uh, first of all, rename these uh, both of these frames and just select rename here. And I'm going to call it uh, progress. And now what I have to do is I have just select these two, go here on top and again create the same component set and name it as progress. Okay. Now what you have to do is go in your prototyping tab and you have to just link this to this, the first one to the second one. And instead of on click, we want it automatically. So after delay and just one millisecond because we don't want any lag. Instead of instant, just hit smart animate. Always choose linear because time moves linearly. It doesn't have any fancy things. So just move, just select linear. And how much duration you want this animation to end. So let's give it like a smooth 1000 milliseconds so now we have these two available and in your assets panel if you come you'll see both of them okay so now we have two of our components ready now let's quickly create this other sort of ui so first of all we need a background on this so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to hit a on my keyboard which will start the frame tool and i'll create a frame and i'll just create something like this okay and i'll add a fill to it and what we want is a black fill Let's go in our layers panel and uh, we want this to be on top of everything. So something like this. And what you have to do is you have to add rounded corners. So let's add rounded corners and let's increase the size a little bit. So let me just quickly do that. Okay. So I have added a frame and I've added a black color to it. 
Now let's quickly put our UI elements on top of this. So let's add our image. So first of all, I have an image copied already. So I'm just going to paste it here and let's resize it to a smaller size, something like um, 200 by 200. Hmm. This looks perfect. Just round the corners so that it matches the overall um, aesthetic. I think, yeah, this looks good. Maybe a little bit more. I think this is fine. Okay. Just move it a little bit up. Now what we need to do is we need to add the other element. So if you see here, we have our text here. So let's just quickly add text. Okay, so I've added my text here, uh, the name of the album and the uh, singer. Now let's quickly add the asset that we have built. So first we have to add this um, sound bar here. So let me just quickly add it here somewhere like this. Okay. And just make sure that the distance is same as what you have from the left here. So probably something like this. Okay. Now one thing as I explained earlier that we don't need the background fill. So I'll just remove the background fill from here. Just turn it off from the right. And this is how it look like. So it looks perfectly nice. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to add our progress bar. So if you see our progress bar is here. So let's just quickly add our progress bar. I'll just drag and drop from here. And add it here. Okay. Uh, one thing that you notice here is that this white is not making the other white visible, the other slider visible. So what we have to do is just come here and change the fill to pure white and then change the opacity. So whatever we feel like is perfect. Let's just do with 20%. I think this looks perfectly fine. Okay. And let's add our timer text here. Okay, perfect. So I've also added my uh, timer text here. We have our slider here. Now, next thing you want is this UI elements, these three UI elements. So I also have them ready with me. So let's just quickly add this um, icons here. Okay, so our UI is completely ready. The next thing that we need to do is just a small thing is we have to add a shadow to the entire frame. So let me just quickly add a drop shadow here. And I'll increase the blur so that it's visible on a different look, um, different backgrounds. So a 34 blur should be good. So now we have created our first UI. What we have to do is now create the collapse state. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the entire iPhone artboard and duplicate it again by hitting option and dragging it again. So it'll just duplicate the frame. Now what you have to do is you have to create the collapse state. So for that, what you have to do is you have to first hit the um, scale tool, which is hitting key on your keyboard or you can go here and select scale tool as well and come here and select this uh, UI, the island UI that we have created. And what we have to do is just have to resize it from both sides. So I'll resize it till I reach the width of my um, the notch, the pill shaped, the dynamic island notch. Okay. So let's just quickly do that. So if you see the notch is behind, I'm just going to resize it so that it just reaches to the size of the notch. Similarly here. Okay. Perfect. So it's almost the size of the notch. The second thing that we need to do is first of all, just come here and just delete the elements that are not needed in the collapse state. So if you see here in the collapse state, you don't have anything else. You only have the image and the uh, sound bars. So I'm just going to come here and I'm just going to delete the elements that are not needed. So let's delete that and you have this um, image, which is not circular. So I'll just increase the radius and now it is circular. Okay. Now what you have to do again is just hit command on your keyboard or the windows option, I think on uh, windows devices. And what you have to do is resize this frame, the main frame. So I'll just resize to the height of the pill. Now if you see pill is behind, I'm just going to resize it to this height of the pill. And let's do that here as well. Perfect. A little bit of sizing is needed here. Let's do that. Okay. Now it looks amazing. Just around the corners of this pill as well. And if you see this uh, looks a little smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit K on my keyboard and just make it a little bigger because it's actually a little bigger and just align it again to the frame. Even the image, we can just make it a little bigger. Okay. And make sure that it's perfectly aligned uh, wherever it's needed like this. 
okay so now this looks good this is our expanded state and this is a collapsed state now what we have to do is the simplest part what we have to do is just go in a prototyping tab select our dynamic island and drag an arrow from here to this frame and instead so again we have on click so make sure that's on click so once we click on this we'll uh, reach here navigate to iphone 14 perfectly fine smart animate instead of linear let's do bouncy and this will look amazing and similarly when you click on this it should also expand just uh, create a reverse arrow on click smart animate bouncy 800 milliseconds perfect let's see how this looks like so this is a ui and everything looks great uh, the soundbar looks great the ui looks great only this progress slider is really fast so what we can do is we can just slow it down so what we can do is we can come to our um, progress slider here and if you see we have given how much time we have given we have given 10 uh, 1000 milliseconds let's give 10000 milliseconds so extremely slow it will be okay linear and uh, i think that should be good perfect now let's see how it looks like yep this looks amazing the speed has slowed up and now when you click on this woohoo so it's a little bit faster i would say so just let's make it a little bit uh, smoother so we'll just come here and instead of 800 milliseconds or maybe bouncy we'll just do gentle okay and um, just play with these uh, values even i'm trying for the first time so just play with the values i think gentle should work let's see how it looks like perfect amazing this looks absolutely nice and if you see because we have created um, this as a um, component you still have the animation going on the image is here and it's still working here in the state as well so that's how you make a really nice um, animation for dynamic island i hope you like this video uh, as i said in the earlier videos i'll try to put now the source file for members only so i'll be putting it somewhere i'm just working on this bit where i can just put it for the members so just stay tuned for that and i'll be putting that link in the description but do try it out let me know in the comments how you felt about this animation and i'll see you in my next video and yeah don't forget to let me know what you want to see in the next prototyping video so yeah take care bye bye i'll see you in my next video